Even he's mad about it. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Fantastic Gaming. We are back. Back baby, we're back for season something. I forgot which one we are in. It's for them as season three. For us, it's our second season. Yes, we have returned. It's the boys with the best upload schedule in the world. I am Kirk. I'm Port. And we have a quick video for you guys today to get into the new season. So, as of this recording, it is March 2nd. The next week, from where we are right now, Devil May Cry 5 is going to be released. The sixth game in the series. I know, it sounds very inconsistent. But then again, Xbox 360, Xbox One. Alright guys, so Devil May Cry 5 is being released and it's going to be super fun. We played the demo and um, the point of this video is that we are going to rank top five, five, top, top yes. five Devil May Cry games. Because I know number five is coming out even though it's going to be the sixth game. Yes, but we don't, we don't like to include that fifth game. No, we do not like to include Speaking of yes. which, we came to, we, we, this is going to be the first list and probably the only list where we can actually agree yes on the order of where we put it through I, and i know yeah but number two and number one people are going to be so angry yes but well, we have our opinions yes and all of our opinions are right because it's our youtube channel so all right let's start it off with number five number five has to go to the latest entry in the devil may cry series it has to go to obviously dmc do you know why number five is dmc like between DMC and the number four spot, all right, is like this. All right? It's huge. That's how bad the game was. All right. So the story, abysmal. Yes. All right. The gameplay, I'm pretty sure the gameplay looks fine. No, I'm right. Sure. How they introduced the Don, how they introduced Dante was in a bad game of itself. Right. That that uh, what PS the PlayStation All Star game. Yeah. That's how they introduced the new Dante, and everyone just like, ooh. <laughs> Black hair, what? Excuse and then me. when the game came out, I was just like, right. So <laughs> with, the, with the newest DMC, right? They tried to reboot the series, which of course that was very successful with some other game series like Mortal Kombat and what they're doing with the Brothers Evil right now. Yeah, what they're doing with Evil. But this somehow didn't work. Oh wait, you know why? Because you can't you can't reboot a series. But then change up a lot of things about it. Yeah. Keep the story consistent. Yes. All right. Don't don't end it off with Devil May Cry 4. Everybody's all happy and stuff, and then go back to Dante. It was like what 16 or something. I meant really not good. Not, not a yeah. good first original. Was he even a savage in that game? Not really. He he was nice to Dante. I was surprised. I was like, what? So yeah, DMC number five. All right. Number four. This is a very I never bad one. DMC I didn't play, I played this game and I yes. was uh, I so, played the DMC demo, I've never put touch this game though. DMC so, DMC two. Yes. Four. Yes. DMC two. This this game is, well, they tried to take a turn in the series. I don't know why they had something going with DMC one. Um in DMC two, they tried to make Dante serious. Dante is not a serious character. No. Everyone can establish that right now. Dante like, is not a serious character. Everyone loves Dante for who it he is. In DMC one, right, he was cracking jokes all over the place. And then how are you gonna tell me he's gonna go from DMC one to DMC two to be this action movie hero who's who have nothing but a hard life, like Max Payne, like <laughs> throwing somebody out there. Uh, right? uh, I love Max Payne though. Yeah, Max know. Payne three was a good game. Max Payne all over. Anyway. You can't take you can't take Dante and turn him into this serious character without you know people are going to be like what the heck right? <laughs> um yeah and you know you know you know I can take two words to describe DMC two what's that monster helicopter what type of boss is that <laughs> I, I I thought I think I'm more shaped after got killed by him it's like you got DMC two. Right, which is like down here, and then you got the rest of the games that we're about to list. Talking about the rest of the games up here. Those this the goes games. to our number three. Our number three pick is going to be Devil May Cry, the first one. 
Now, this is the introduction of Devil May Cry to the world. It was critically acclaimed. Everyone loved the game. Um, it had a really good story. It introduced us to Dante, who was a great character. Um, we got to see a whole new take on demons versus demons. And you got this half demon, half human, or if you go to Devil May Cry, half angel garbage game. Devil May Cry was a nice starter for the Xbox 360. Someone get a fact check on that, please. The version of Xbox 360 and PlayStation 2 was one of one of the least, but uh, yeah. Um, DMC, the first Devil May Cry game. Um, like every boss in that game, like not everything, not everything about the game was great. Obviously, it was the first one, and he's work through its things and make DMC 3 Awakening. We don't talk about that middle one. Um, so, the Old May Cry 1 it had great bosses. Most notably, I want to put Mundus and Nilo and Nilo. And, spoilers if you haven't played this like 15 year old game, Nilo and Nilo and Nilo and Nilo that he Virgil. Yes. Right? In his demon form. Yes. So, uh, when that was revealed, people were, people were like, who the heck? And then Devil May Cry 2 came out, they were like, who's Neil Angelo? And then Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry 2 came out, they were like, oh, okay. That's Neil Angelo. Neil Angelo. Yeah, Devil May Cry 1, absolute gem. If you haven't played any of the Devil May Cry's, you're definitely going to be missing out, right? Obviously, you have to start with Devil May Cry 1. You're not going to be disappointed. Then you have to play Devil May Cry 2. Then you have to play Devil May Cry 3 right after you play the first level of Devil May Cry 2. Yeah. Number 2. <laughs> Alright, number 2, we're going to put Devil May Cry. Three! Why are we putting Devil May Cry 3 in the number two spot? Devil May Cry 3 Dante's Awakening was it, like between number one and number two, right? So number three and then obviously what's gonna be number one. Like they are like this close to each other. This close to each other. It's just number one just like you know, a bit better. Yeah, right? So Devil May Cry 3, where do I start? You wanna start with Arkham, that that freaking creepy bald father and Virgil. Yes. Virgil, introducing Virgil into the game, who was Neil you know, Angel in the first one, by the way. Yes. Introducing Virgil into the game and fighting him all in all of his encounters with Dante is one of the best things about Dome Cry 3. Alright? And then I think you can play with Virgil in uh, story and you can also play. It also introduces this lady who you won't see from until Dome Cry 3 and Dome Cry 4. Those are the only two games they're going to be in. And also Dome Cry 5, mm. which is coming out mm. by that. Yes. Um, yeah, uh, Lady is a great character. Virgil was a great character, and Arkham was a great character. Introducing these, t and the two families were connected, and introducing that into the game, and then, and then having this great story, great gameplay, amazing. Mm. Devil May Cry 3, Dante's Awakening at number two. Com coming in at number one will be Devil May Cry 4. It's the last one that's left, guys. Do the math in your head, right? Devil May Cry 4 is the game that everyone seems to like as a proper, proper sequel to Devil May Cry 3. This game was really good. Not everyone will agree with us because obviously everyone loved Devil May Cry 3. But this one was pretty much almost perfect when it comes to the Devil May Cry games. Let's talk about the enemies first. The enemies were like the scarecrows, right? And you had those flying things. And then you had Knights or angels. Also, this is like the first time they use like angelic in um, imagery. It's pretty cool. And then you got this man who wanted to be a god and it was actually portrayed perfectly because he had all these things and he had a weapon. And oh my god, this game is awesome. The game is so good. Well, guys, nice. one thing I actually really don't like much about the game is Nero's character because he is a crybaby. Character building, right? You're gonna, you have. You're gonna be building this character of Nero as a new hero, right? It ki it really kind of works. Yeah, it kind of works. Everyone was excited when Dante was back. When Dante returned, everyone was just like, yes, right? Because they're always just like, who is this kid? Am I watching? Am I am I watching like an alternate universe? This and Dante came in there, yes. right? But um, they're seeing all these characters be built, right? Nero, Kyrie, Sanctus being. Evil. I actually did not know he was going to be the evil guy of the game. No, I right? thought he was going to be dead. The savior, who was, I I, actually fun love, I love that. I love that boss so a much. Fun boss. Right? The story was amazing. The the backstory of 
of Nero being spoilers alert and maybe they'll show Devil May Cry 5, but it's just rumors. Practical for it's practical for yeah. Yes. Um he's 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 Virgil's son, which is why he has Virgil's devil Devil Trigger Devil arm. Trigger R. Yeah, whatever. And what? uh yeah. Yamato returns in the game, you can use that very nice. Um the devil arm actually was a nice introductory to the game because it makes you hit those nice combos. Yes, if right. you can't hit the nice combos of that game, what do you even do with your life? Hmm? Mm. What do you do in your life? So yes, Double May Cry 4 is number one. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this quick video that we wanted to put out. We are back for season two and we obviously will have the best upload schedule. We really are not going to. This is going to be a lot of hard work, guys, but this is all for you, obviously. And, guys, we'd like to say thank you for all the support you gave us in the last season, alright? We are the number one video on the channel. <laughs> Suck it, Sean and Marcus! I hate you! Love you guys, too. Thank you for giving us these jobs. This is super fun. Thanks. Guys, guys, remember to always just like our season two and their season or our season one and their season two always follow us on social media also twitter youtube the brand follow me on youtube follow him on youtube youtube are down here yes i actually uploaded videos this time watch them they're pretty good I still i'm bad at editing i still upload he, he is still really bad he's really bad at editing yes that's I, I why can't, I, I can't help him at all also guys follow us on discord guys Video suggestions, rules, we have them all on our Discord. Guys, thank you so much for all the support. Guys, it's going to be awesome, awesome to And also, updates coming very soon. We love y'all. I'm Eric, I'm Gordon, and we will see you in Season 2.